Om Shanti. This is the Avyakt Marli of 21st of December, 1989. And the title is The Attainment of Blessings from the Three Days, Trinity, Creator. Today, the Three Days Creator is seeing his corporeal and subtle creations. Both creations are deeply loved. This is why the Creator is pleased to see the creation. The creation constantly sings the song of happiness. How wonderful the Creator is. And the Creator constantly sings the song. How wonderful my creation is. The creation is loved. And those who are loved are made complete by being given everything. So the Father has made each of his elevated creation complete, especially with all three relationships. In the relationship of the Father, he has become the bestower and makes you full of the treasures of knowledge. In the form of the teacher, he has become the bestower of fortune and makes you fortunate for many births. In the form of the Satguru, he has become the bestower of blessings and fills your apron with blessings. This is called imperishable love. The specialty of Baba's love is that he does not like to see the weakness, gummy, of those for whom he has love. He would transform weaknesses into a wonder, Gamal. The Father always has the powerful thought to transform weakness into a wonder. Because of love, the Father cannot bear to see the children laboring. If there is a need for any type of labor, then do that. However, in Brahman life, there is no need for labor because you become so full through all three relationships with the bestower, the bestower of wisdom and the bestower of blessings, that you can stay in spiritual pleasure without laboring. You have the inheritance, the study, and also the blessings. What need is there for a soul who has all attainment in these three forms to labor? Sometimes remember the inheritance or the father in the form of the bestower and there will be the intoxication of a spiritual right. If you remember him in the form of the teacher, there will be the intoxication of the fortune of being godly students, that is, the students of God, the Satguru, the bestower of blessings, is making you move along with blessings at every step. The elevated directions in every action is the blessing of the bestower of blessings. One who takes every step according to Srimad the elevated instructions definitely receives at every step the blessing of success in every action, easily and automatically. This is known as the attainment of elevated salvation through the instructions of the Satguru. It enables you to claim liberation and liberation in life. The instructions are elevated, and so the salvation is elevated. You definitely claim your sweet home anyway, which is liberation, and your sweet kingdom, which is salvation. However, Brahman souls receive an even more special salvation, and that is the instant fruit of the elevated karma
performed at this time on the basis of Srimad. That is, they achieve success. It is only at the confluence age that you Brahmins attain this elevated salvation. This is why it is said, as the instruction you follow, so the salvation you receive. Those people think that they will receive salvation after death. This is why they say your final thoughts lead you to your destination. However, for you Brahmin souls, during this final birth of dying alive, you receive the fruit of success in every action. That is, you have received the blessing of receiving salvation at the present time as well as in the future you always definitely have liberation and salvation you do not wait in anticipation of receiving it in the future this is the importance of the attainment of the confluence age perform actions now and claim the right of attainment now. This is known as giving with one hand and receiving with the other. Your deal is not in the hope that you will receive a return at some point in the future, but it is with the idea that an instant donation is a great donation. Such is your attainment. This is known as a quick deal. In devotion, you waited in the anticipation of receiving something at some point. In devotion, you thought that you would receive it at some point. Whereas here, the father says, take it now. At the beginning of establishment, it was very well known about you that the people here receive visions very quickly. They used to have these. So from the beginning, there has been a very quick deal. This is known as the Creator's true love for the creation. No one else can be as loved throughout the whole cycle. No matter how loved a well-known person may be, this is imperishable love and imperishable attainment. So, no one else can be as much loved as this. Therefore, the Father feels mercy for the children who labor. Someone who has received blessings and a right to an inheritance never has to labor. The fortunate children who belong to the teacher who is the bestower of fortune, always pass with honors. Neither do they fail, nor do they feel anything wasteful. There are two reasons for having to labor. You either fail when you come up against the obstacles of Maya, or while in connection and relationship with either Brahmin souls, or with Ajnani souls. In both instances, while coming into action, you begin to feel waste even in small matters, which you people call the sickness of flu. What happens through such flu? Firstly, there is shaking, trembling. There, it is the body that shakes, and here, the stage of the soul shakes, the mind shakes, and the mouth becomes bitter. You begin to speak bitter words through your lips. What else happens? There are hot and cold flushes. Here too, when there is a bad feeling, there is anger inside, and you feel hot. Why did this one say this or do this? This is anger inside. You have experienced this. 
have you not? What else happens? You do not feel eating or drinking. What happens here? Even if you are told a good point of knowledge, you do not like it. What is the ultimate result of that? There is weakness. Here too, this weakness lasts for some time. Therefore, you should neither fail nor feel bad about anything. Bhattada gives you most elevated instructions. The pure feelings is the consciousness. I am an elevated soul out of multi-millions. I am a deity soul, a great soul, a Brahmin soul. I am a soul with a special part. Those who stay in this feeling will not have the flu of any waste feeling. Stay in this pure feeling. Where there are pure feelings, there cannot be impure feelings. Then you will be protected from the flu. That is, you will become free from laboring and you will constantly experience yourself being sustained with blessings and that you are flying ahead with blessings and receiving success in service with blessings. Do you like to labor? Or is it that the habit of laboring has become firm? Do you like to labor? Or is it better to stay in pleasure? Some do not like to do anything other than the sort of work that requires labor. If you ask such a person to sit down comfortably on a chair, he would say, no, give me some hard work to do. Here, it is the labor of the soul, and the soul has become tired from laboring for 63 births. We were searching for 63 births. Were you not? It does require labor to look for someone, does it not? So, you are already tired. You have already labored for 63 births. Now, stay in pleasure for this one birth, at least. The 21 births is a matter of the future. However, this one birth is special. You can experience both labor and pleasure. There in the future, you will have forgotten all of these things. The pleasure is here because others are laboring and you are in pleasure. Acha, have the teachers performed devotion? For how many births did you do that? You have not done it in this birth, have you? Your devotion finished in the last birth. When did you start devotion? With whom did you start devotion? You too did devotion with Prama Baba. Which temple did you do it in first? So, you are the original souls of the path of devotion and also the original souls of the path of knowledge. Because the devotion of the beginning is unadulterated, the happiness and the bliss of devotion, according to that time, are no less. That happiness and bliss were elevated in their own place. Are you part of the rosary of devotees? Since you began devotion, are you not part of the Rosary of Devotees? Were the double foreigners part of the Rosary of Devotees? Did you become devotees or were you in the Rosary of Devotees? You are now wondering whether you were or not. Were you part of the Rosary of Victory and also part of the Rosary of Devotees? You became worshippers, but were you part of the Rosary 
of devotees. The rosary of devotees is separate. You become enlightened ones who then become devotees, whereas they are only devotees. There is a difference between the rosaries of enlightened souls and devotees. The rosary of knowledgeable souls is the rosary of victory, whereas the rosary of devotees is of those who do intense devotion. Those who do not want to listen to anything other than devotion, for they consider only devotion to be most elevated. The rosary of enlightened ones is separate from the rosary of devotees. You have certainly performed devotion, but you would not be said to be part of the rosary of devotees. This is because after having played the part of devotion, all of you have come into knowledge. They are intense devotees, whereas you have intense knowledge. There is a difference between the sense scars of the two types of soul. A devotee is someone who always has the sense scars of asking. I am degraded and the father is elevated. I have those sense scars. They are royal beggars, whereas you souls have the sense scars of claiming a right. Therefore, as soon as you receive the introduction, you claim all rights. Do you understand? Give some space to the devotees too. Will you be part of both? Because you have half a cycle and they too have half a cycle. They also have to be part of the rosary that is remembered. They are still better than the people of the world outside. Their intellect is at least not in other directions. It is still towards Baba. They at least remain pure. They receive the fruit of purity, that of being praised. You will be worshipped, but they will not be worshipped. They simply create statues and position them in order to be able to praise them. However, there is never a temple to Mira. Mira is never worshipped in the way that the deities are. She is only praised. They may worship anyone during this last birth. They may worship the earth. They may worship the trees. But according to the discipline, they are only praised, not worshipped. You are the souls who become worthy of worship. Constantly keep this intoxication in your awareness. A soul who is worthy of worship cannot even touch an impure thought. Have you become so worthy of worship? Acha. To the souls from everywhere who have a right to the inheritance, to those who always pass with honors in their study, to those who become bestowers of blessings through their own blessings and make others into bestowers of blessings, to those who are very much loved by the Father, Teacher, and the Sadguru, to the elevated souls who constantly remain in spiritual pleasure, Bhaptada's love, remembrance, and namaste. Group meeting with Punjab and Rajasthan zones. Do you constantly experience yourselves to be holy swans? Holy swans means those who can distinguish between powerful and wasteful. Those swans separate pebbles from jewels. They separate pearls from stones. However, what do you holy swans discern? You distinguish between powerful and wasteful, pure and impure. 
just as swans never pick up pebbles, but they separate them and put them aside and do not take them. In the same way, you holy swans put aside wasteful thoughts and adopt powerful thoughts. If waste thoughts do come, you would not adopt them. If you adopt waste, you cannot be called holy swans. It is storks that adopt them. You heard, spoke, and did a lot of wasteful things. But what was the result of that? You lost everything, did you not? You lost your body. Look at the body of the deities and the body that you have now and see what it is. There is so much difference. The older ones are better than the younger ones. So you lost your body. You lost the peace and happiness of your mind and also your wealth. How much wealth did you have? Where did that limitless wealth go? You lost it in wasteful things. Are you now accumulating or are you still losing? Holy swans are not those who lose, but those who accumulate. You will now receive a good body for 21 births and a mind that will always remain happy. Their wealth will be equivalent to the dust now. Now, even the dust has become valuable, but there you will play with jewels and the buildings will be decorated with jewels. So how much are you accumulating? Those who have accumulated are happy. If you haven't accumulated anything, your heart shrinks. If you have accumulated, you would have a big heart. Your heart has now become so big. So, is your account of accumulation increasing at every step? Or do you accumulate only sometimes? Have you looked at your chart very clearly? At such a time too, you don't sometimes let things go to waste, do you? You are now aware of the value of time, are you not? One second of the confluence age is so great. It would be said that it was only one or two seconds that have passed, but even a second is so great. If you remembered this, you wouldn't waste even one second. To waste a second means to waste a year. One second of the confluence age has so much importance. So you are those who accumulate, not those who waste because you either waste or you earn. It is only now throughout the whole cycle that you earn an income. So holy swans means those who do not waste anything either in their dreams or in their thoughts. Holy means the ones who chase away any impurity in a second with the power of purity, not just for themselves, but for others too, because you have to transform the whole world. Do you not? You know how great the power of purity is. Do you not? Purity is such a fire that it can burn the rubbish of the world in a second. Complete purity is such an elevated power. At the end, when everyone will have become complete, all of this rubbish will be burnt with the fire of love in your elevated thoughts. Yoga should be very intense. At the end, service will not take place as slowly. As soon as you think something, it happens. This is called service at a fast speed. Now you are filling yourself with power 
and then you will use it. Similarly, as it is shown in the memorials of the goddesses, that they burnt the devils with their intense fire. They were not devils, but devilish powers, of which time is that a memorial. It is of the present time, is it not? So become ones with such intensity. If you don't become this, who will? So now become the ones with such intensity and burn the devilish sunscars and devilish nature. Burn everything. You have burned your own sunscars, have you not? Or are you still burning your own sunscars? Acha, those from Punjab have at least become fearless. You are not those who are afraid, are you? You are the ones who are volcanic. So, what is there to be afraid of? You are already dead. So whom do you have to be afraid of? Rajasthan should never forget their right to the kingdom. You do not forget the kingdom and just remember the desert of Rajasthan, do you? There is a lost of desert in Rajasthan. So always have the awareness of your new kingdom. All of you should become fearless and volcanic and become those who burn away the Tamaguni nature that is in the elements and souls. This is a very huge task. Only when you do it speedily will it be accomplished. As yet, not all the people have received the message, let alone the elements. So, hasten your speed. Let there be a center in every street, because according to the circumstances, you won't be able to go from one street to the next. You won't even be able to see one another. So there will be a center in every home, in every street, will there not? Acha. Blessing. May you become an embodiment of power and together with being innocent, also become an almighty authority and face Maya. Sometimes innocence causes a lot of damage. Easiness takes on the form of innocence. However, do not become so innocent that you are unable to oppose anything. Together with easiness, you also need the powers to accommodate and tolerate. Just as the Father is the Almighty Authority, as well as the Innocent Lord. In the same way, together with being innocent, also become an embodiment of power, and you won't be shot by the bullet of Maya. Then, instead of opposing you, Maya will salute you. Slogan, hoist the flag of remembrance in your heart, and the flag of revelation will be hoisted. Om Shanti.